All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning from the S3. Good morning in English because now it is finally time. I'm changing everything here on YouTube on English because so many of you guys just asked for it. And I thought when I start with English, I can also start with some new things and bring you on to uh, yeah my, my normal life, more or less, which isn't that normal anymore. And I'm super, super lucky and super happy and super thankful that it is how it is. Um, I'm sitting here in my wonderful S3. I truly love it. I love these seats and I'm about to drive to my uh, car wrapper, cold car, um, check out what they have in stock and maybe make some small uh, modifications on the car. And then I'm heading to Munich, better said to the Tegernsee to meet up with Mr. Viamontes and our project Viamontes in general because this is something I want to tell you for a long time uh, and I think it is more or less time to uh, actually bring you on to this journey properly because Via Montes is a project where we give away cars and not just any cars super special ones rare ones limited ones and we are starting with the Audi A1 Quattro one of 333 which we're probably going to um, drive today as well so stay tuned for a super full packed vlog my first ever real vlog and uh, yeah I, I can't wait to start it and I'm super 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 happy and uh, yeah give it full throttle in the S3 and yeah have a great day <laughs> arrived at cool car as you can see over here and now it is time to check out what they have in their garage right now to wrap because they have some really really amazing cars always there and i'm super excited for that so what do we have here then an aventador sv spider one of 500 cars and actually this is straight piped by novitech so yeah and you can actually buy this one just look at the interior oh my god this is really sick, isn't it? And then as we come around here, some other nice cars, a Wiesmann over here, 964, a Portofino, really, really nice. I don't have to say anything about this because, oh my gosh, this looks really, really sick. And this is actually a car of the owner here and he has some proper, proper ideas how to make this even more special. And as we come around here, this is also very limited Porsche uh, 964. I don't know a lot about it, but it is very limited. So not that many cars around. And then this is the one I would go for definitely. A GT3 RS with um, not a Weiser package because this is actually red. And this is the best carbon fiber red I've ever, ever, ever seen. Just look at this car, oh my gosh. I think this is definitely a goal of mine to have one of these in a few years because this is the ultimate driving weapon. So yeah, which one is your favorite in here? Tell me in the comments. So then let's have a sound check, huh? So guys, I've been here quite often, but I've never really showed you this incredible place where I'm at the moment and just look what's behind me. Yes, it is the all new Audi RS6. Let's have a look. So here we are, 600 horsepower, 800 Newton meters of torque, 22 inch wheels, carbon ceramic brakes. We do have, maybe as you know, the A7 RS7 front and of course headlights um full carbonara package as you can see over here this just looks out of this world then this incredible power dome it just is i don't have any words for it it's, i think the best way to 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 find out how this car really comes on is that you of course see it on your own but write in the comments 
Have you seen it? Have you watched videos? Have you seen it on Instagram? What do you think about this generation R6? Because I think it is different to the old one, but in such a good way. And just look at how this rear end turns out. This is completely different what we are used to have in performance um, vehicles like that. But oh my gosh, yeah. That's basically just what I can say about it. So let's have a quick look on the interior. And here we are greeted by a completely redesigned virtual cockpit graphic interface, a new steering wheel, as you can see in full Alcantara, as we have the red RS design package over here. Then we have something like an aluminum carbon optic over here, which I think personally, it, it feels and looks a little bit cheap, to be honest, but overall, nice impression. I can, yeah, I can imagine to drive 305 kilometers per hour with this one. Love it. Let's check out what they also have here. They always have so nice pictures here in my Audi sphere. This is just out of this world. Just look at it. Wow. So, and here we do have a full exclusive Audi A8. Quite interesting how they spec it. And here you can come actually and see every single color and materials and leather combinations. You can actually, this is more or less the best place to spec your car because they have everything but really really everything here they can show you some pretty pretty i mean just look at this alcantara everywhere in full out exclusive let me know in the comments what you think about this spec i think it really really looks good hmm this one or this one this one you know which one i would take So Tim is leaving, see you later. Give us some sound, give us some noise, please. I truly can't believe that it is actually uh, more or less already Christmas. Are you kidding me? But um, nice advertising, of course, by Audi. <laughs> That's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, huh? So now in the elevator, back on the way to the S3. And I have to say, it is quite an interesting vlog. I think it's pretty funny, but uh, let me know in the comments just what you think, what, what I should maybe do better. But actually, it is just a normal day. Uh, which is definitely everything else but normal and this looks really weird here just look at it. so a lot of construction work going on but we are now in the underground car park here of Audi uh, at the airport in Munich and normally there are some pretty nice cars down here um, also an RS6R from Apt I've already seen in Seapan Blue I love Seapan Blue uh, which, which one is actually your favorite uh, Audi color? So, the, the ones you can order, not what I made with the S3, because, yeah, I just wanted to, to make this car special. So, what do we have around here? Let me show you. So, basically, just an A6 over here, nice Q5 and crunch on grey. Over there, we do have, let me show you, an SQ8, as you can see. So, quite nice spec. I think this is the perfect winter spec, to be honest. And it has the... I think it is called Carmesine or something. Caras red interior, also really, really nice. Um, over there, there is probably the coolest car in this whole car park. <laughs> just kidding. But sitting, of course, next. Don't judge my parking. I just wanted to be next to the RS5. Don't, please don't judge it. <laughs> I just wanted to be next to this beautiful, beautiful car. And then I think this is it. Over there is Q3 Sportback and e-tron, um, the Q5 and TFSI E. Also quite interesting, but yeah, the coolest car definitely for me is the S3. And this is pretty clean, I would say. Wheels are yeah quite okay. Or here. What is quite interesting, just look at can you see this here? This is I think that 
the engine is getting so hot that this is somehow damaging, but not really damaging. I think you can see it. Um, my wrap, this is pretty unfortunate, but okay. Just look at how, how, this, how the car pops. Oh my God, this color is just, it is so much better in life, in person. Oh my gosh, but actually, I'm really, I'm really in love with this one. What do you think about, about the RS5 Sportback? I can't wait to see the facelift of the RS5. And I'm really, really, really thinking about maybe switching from the S3 to the S5 Sportback TDI because I just want to have a daily driver which is somehow efficient but fast and comfortable. And I think the S5 Sportback TDI is sexy and brings all of these things together because this one, god damn, this is a thirsty bitch. But now let me give you some underground car parking sound. So step in and then off we go. And then maybe this is something I'm so unbelievably annoyed of. When you start the car up, yeah, it, it I think I'm, I'm, I'm having Windows XP on it because it takes so incredibly long until everything is, yeah, working. Werden in Italisiert, werden in Italisiert. Yeah, nice. Ah, okay. This time a little bit earlier, just for you guys. So valves are open. Let's open the windows back there, then rev it a little bit. It's already warm, so don't judge me for that. But I want to do some pops. Pops. Pop. Here. What the fuck? Yes. God damn, and this car still has the OPF. What on earth? APR, thank you very, 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 very much. Oh my God. I'm talking too much. I'm definitely talking too much and too fast. Okay, guys, I have to show you this because, oh my fucking God, this is Carbonara Extreme. Yes. And it is a uh, Blue Crew meetup time. Just look at these two beauties. Oh my gosh. This is daddy and this is his son, I would say. So you're probably going to ask yourself what on earth this is. What, what, what is this? Yeah. And basically this is the Apt RS6 Plus. It is limited to, I guess, 50 or 150 cars. I'm not quite sure, but just look at this. Satin black rings, but I think they are wrapped and so they are a little bit damaged, but look at all of this carbon on the body kit. Um, I don't want to scratch this carbon fiber lip. Oh my gosh. And then as we come around here, just look at the flaps, what they made. I mean, I, I somehow love up and I like what they do. It is one of 50 actually. So pretty, pretty rare. Also, this little side flap, what on earth? Nobody needs it, but it is so unbelievably cool to have it. Then the extended um, spoiler down over here. Oh my gosh, it looks good with the S3 in there, <laughs> back there. And then look at this diffuser. Let me do a little bit more with a wide angle. This is really, 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 really nice. Yeah, as I said, daddy and son. So now let me finally leave. Just look at these two beauties. Oh my gosh, have to take some photos, post them on Instagram now, but oh yes. I love this day, this is quite cool, isn't it? continues we are at the biggest used Audi car center in I would probably say Europe and as you can see over here they are all selling the old uh, Audis of Santa 
the whole line is red over there. So this, these were his company's cars probably for the, the last season. Um, no, just kidding. But it is, oh my God. It's always really, really nice to come here. And there should be a Satin Black RS3 just incoming and I'm looking for it. Maybe I can spot it. Let me show you the car park. So yes, this is truly, truly, truly ridiculous. This whole building, just look at it. How many cars there are. Down there, there are endless R8s. And yeah, you can spot the S3 over there. Yes, can you see it? The, the epicness continues down there. But now it is time actually to go down. Oh boy, super clean, way cleaner than my car. A lot of traffic around Munich actually, um, as probably usual on a Friday afternoon. <laughs> so everyone is leaving the city and we are of course driving exactly in the absolute wrong direction when it comes to traffic. But um, this is the this is the moment where I really love to have uh, the adaptive cruise control on the S3 because I have to basically do nothing except um, I have to hold the steering wheel because the S3 doesn't have a lane assist. And I'm followed by the mighty RS3 from the setting crew. Yeah, let's see how long we take. Is this your dream, Auto Tim? Buongiorno ladies and gentlemen, then it is day two of the vlog here and I'm super 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 excited Sun is just rising up the mountains as you maybe can see over there And yes, Tim is in front of me with the A1 Quattro And we are just waiting for the Lamborghini Urus of the setting crew to drive out of the parking garage And then we are heading with all three cars together to Munich because we are going to collect the setting crew is going to collect something at McLaren Munich. Super, super excited for that. I've never been in a McLaren. I've not even sit in a, sat in a McLaren. So this is quite interesting for me as well. Um, yeah, basically just head up to Munich and uh, have an incredible day. I'm super, super, super excited. <laughs> guys that didn't go as planned and um my mood on this day after this 
more or less uh, nearly crash um, was so unbelievably down and I was so aggressive you can't imagine because this guy not just made this one thing I showed you just in the video uh, on the on the autobahn uh, he was um, in front of us and behind us and next to us all the time uh, when we drove from Tegernsee to Munich so about uh, let's say 30 to uh, even 40 kilometers he uh, joined us and uh, not, not joined us he was in front of us and maybe he was jealous about the cars I don't know basically uh, he was super aggressive then he didn't let us go forward uh, also there was enough space on the other lanes so um, yeah and then he, he went really aggressive and we did, didn't even flash some flash the light or something we were super super kind to be honest um, and the thing he made with me you see that here yeah, was one more time which was even closer with me and then three times with the Lamborghini and two times with the A1 Quattro as well so if you know this guy um, please better not tell me who he is <laughs> basically no um, it is it is horrible I, I don't really know why he did that and um, he really crashed my whole energy on this day um, so I didn't film anything for you guys uh, but I'm now here uh, back again it's uh, two days after uh, I cleared my mind uh, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward again to, to actually driving because that, um, that made me um, wa don't want to drive anymore. I, uh, uh, we went to McLaren Munich and then I stepped out of the car and I said I don't want to drive the car at least for two hours. I don't want to be in a car. I just want to uh, calm down and uh, and uh, relax a little bit and and um, clear my mind because that was just um, also for me then because I get really aggressive because this is something you can tell that basically this guy tried to kill us more or less and um, this is this is not funny anymore really not and uh, so um, but I don't want to uh, end this vlog my first ever vlog which I think turned out quite well it was a lot of different things and uh, maybe not um, that I that I had a, a red line going through all of this video but uh, all in all I think you've enjoyed it because this is what uh, really is a normal day our normal more or less normal days now and I want to bring you with me on this journey because there is so much more to come not just for this channel here um, for so many other projects that I want to tell you here on this channel so make sure to subscribe please write down in the comments what you think about the several uh, questions I asked you and then yeah we see us together we see us not together oh. Yes, talking is a little bit weird when you uh, talk about three minutes uh, <laughs> in total. Um, I just wanted to say that there is a new vlog coming with me and Tim, Mr. Viamontes, checking out the all-new Audi RS6 Avant. Uh, I'm driving to Munich tomorrow, so I'm super, super, super excited for that. And uh, yeah, then I will definitely... Um, come back to you and um, we'll show you what it is like to drive the RS6 the Via Montes style and uh, the not so normal style so thank you again very very much for all of your support and I can't wait to see you on the next video because this is now going every week online and I can't wait to show you all the epicness which is coming because after the RS6 um, drive I'm heading to the Alberg with the S3 and Alberg means Alps means mountains means snow means drifting means quattro time so bye for now <laughs>